I got a single digit budget, one hundred dollar rig, a thousand dollar cutlass in a million dollar dream. I want a seven digit budget, one hundred diamond rig, a thousand screaming for me. That's my million dollar dream. I got a single digit budget, one hundred dollar rig, a thousand dollar cutlass in a million dollar dream. I want a seven digit budget, one hundred dollar rig, a thousand screaming for me. That's my million dollar. Yo, you do what's going on? It's Blair the Car Guys here with your Tuesday video. You know what to do. Subgangsinc.com. Go check it out. Done. So, this week's topic, I wanted to talk about something, you know, the release of gold. We have seen a shift in the meta exponentially. We've seen the resurgence of mini decks, from the Abyss to be exact. I know before um, Premium Gold just came out, people were playing PK Fire, the Phantom Knights with the Burning Abyss as well. But there's been kind of like a debate between both of them, like which one was better? Is it like pure Burning Abyss which is better? Or is it the PK Fire that's better? I just want to go in and talk about a little bit of both of them. Um, about which one I think is actually better. Uh, let's go start with the pure Burning Abyss. We know that's been uh, TCG's poster child ever since it came out. Um, they really didn't see that much getting hit with the tour guide, not that much. And then it finally hit Graph um, to one and Sierra to two, which kind of hinders the deck a little bit, but not as much. So like pure burning abyss is still viable. And then with them being able to play traps like with solemn strike, solemn warning, and then many anti spell for spell heavy decks like monarchs and Draco pals. Um, they actually see like a, a strong competitor right now. And then with the release of premium gold. With uh, Beatrice, the Eternal Lady, coming out, it gives the uh, deck a gigantic, gigantic boost. Um, being able to make first turn Beatrice and literally turn Beatrice into any card, sending any card to the deck, um, playing your uh, in phase uh, cow cabs to bounce back row, along with your twin twister to literally wipe out their whole back row and then just OT cam the next turn, or sending your Alec to negate um, effects is really really broken as well and even if you play other cards you can send to the graveyard like should all dragon to pop back row or sending uh, should all beast draw cards send uh the dog you know uh peril peril server is sending that and for later use or anything whatever you want to use pretty much turns into any card in the graveyard and not even just monsters but doing being able to do broken plays um sending grav seer scarm and then being able to end phase or the turn you do it being able to flip uh, Traveler, the Burning Abyss, and get all those back and just keep your combo going is literally insane. And then when uh, Beatrice is destroyed, to be able to, especially some of Pimp Dante, Pimp Dante is good within itself as well. It gives you a draw and it still sets off with Burning Abyss um, monsters. Especially like, you're definitely going to have a Dante, but well, when you have a Dante under there, you get basically get any Burning Abyss from your graveyard to your hand. So pure Burning Abyss, I really like. It's really, really strong. So let's go to the other spectrum. Um, PK Fire the Phantom Knights with Burning Abyss. This one is a little tricky. Um, yes, you do get a lot of advantage from uh, your Phantom Knight cards, uh, Cloak being able to search. <coughs> Excuse me, virtually any Phantom Knight card. Uh, Gloves sending a Phantom Knight card to the graveyard. And then uh, Boots being able to add your traps back to your hand. Well, search your traps. And also the fact that they can, uh, especially if you control another uh, Phantom Knight card, is actually really good. The problem that lies with that, even with all that searchability and everything with the deck and being able to tutor stuff, and Dante still being able to like fuel your um, combo by sending your Phantom Knights into the graveyard, like your regular Phantom Knights or traps. The problem that lies with it with like PK Fire, the Burning Abyss and the Phantom Knights don't mix well. Unless you have um, one that, like, unless you have a uh, Phoenix Rhino Warrior on your field. Uh, pretty much any other any Phantom Knight monster you try to um, do an XP's play with is gonna like your Burning Abyss is just gonna blow up unless you have Tour Guide or unless um, you have one brought out by Libet. There is something that you can do that's broken with um, your Fog Blades, your Phantom Knight Fog Blades. If you already have a Burning Abyss on the field, you can Fog Blade it and then summon your uh, Phantom Knight so it won't blow up, which is so you can still make your uh, XYZ plays, but. Like, if you're not using your fog blade, you want it, really want it in the graveyard. So, if you XOZ with it, with anything attached to a fog blade, it just stays there. So, you have to be able to make sure you destroy it, which you can do with, uh, of course, Break Sword. But outside of your monsters blowing up, if you don't have, then the effects aren't negated, or if you have uh, Phoenix Rhino Warrior, the deck is really, really solid. 
but this version of the deck doesn't tutor to Beatrice as well because you got to make sure that you have a Burning Abyss. And since you're playing less Burning Abyss monsters in PK Fire, it's a little bit more tricky. It's still possible, but just not as viable as uh, Burning Abyss. But it's still a good card, and you would I would definitely make sure you play it in both. So just in my opinion, if I was to play either one or the other, I probably would lean more towards, towards Burning Abyss, be a little more consistent, and everything be able to flow with each other. But that's my take on it. You can think what you want. But that's our video. Uh, make sure, if you agree with me, if you think you like Burning Abyss better, or if you like PK Fire better, make sure you leave it in the comments below. If you didn't like the video, make sure you go back, watch it again. I promise you'll like it the second time around. But, blur the car, guys. Peace.